the Extreme Max motorcycle dolly, which would be ideal in a garage. That's my garage. So I didn't actually purchase this thing. The guy threw it in with the FJR 1300. And I really wanted to see this thing in action. I'm gonna throw the bike on here in a second. I'll go over some of the dimensions of the actual dolly. So lengthwise, it's 79 inches. Right here where you roll up, it's seven and three quarters. And where your kickstand sits, seven and a half inches, 13 and three quarters. Weight capacity, they claim this thing can hold 1,250 pounds. And I was thinking to myself, what freaking bike weighs that much? The KLR comes in at about 420. The FJR is 582 pounds. I have to do a little bit of a Google search. I just Googled heaviest bikes on the market. Well, what I found was the Harley CVO Road Glide Ultra comes in at 967. One bike heavier than that is gonna be a Boss Haas, the one with that huge V8 engine comes in at 1,100 pounds. Now I'm sure if you order this online, it's not gonna come assembled, but it seems fairly easy. A couple nuts and bolts. The dolly itself feels pretty solid. I don't know about the 1,250 pounds, but if you have a bike that heavy, I don't know what the hell you're riding. So you have these, these end pieces here. You simply flip these up and they'll drop the dolly down onto its wheels. When you're getting your bike up, flip this down and you're ready to roll up on the dolly. And this thing flipped up on me. Let's see. There we go. Down and down. Try this thing out. Well, the bike rolled up on there fairly easy. I was a little bit nervous about these possibly popping up by themselves. These are the lockers. So once you have the bike up, just pop these up. Now that side is sitting on its wheels. Same with the back side. Pop that up. For some added security, it comes with these pins. They go on on each side. I'm not sure why the guy put all this duct tape on here. Here's the back side. Guess we gotta roll up a little bit. There it goes. I'm a little bit skeptical about these wheels. They're just so tiny. I do have some grooves in the concrete here. So let's test out how well they roll over this. Push it back into that little corner. Not bad. Well, for the wheels being so small, I'm I'm impressed. Now I did get it stuck in the groove over here. I think what happened was. I came straight on it and I got both left and right wheels in there. So if you go at it from an angle, you'll have no issues with any kind of grooves like this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I went ahead and double checked the length of this. I'm not sure where he purchased the dolly at, but I did find it on Amazon.com. I'll throw a link in the description box below. And there's two different sizes. This is the 76 inch, the standard. There's an extra long version that's 91 inches. So if you need that, that's an option. Well, let's try to get the bike off. Let's pop these lockers down. There's that. 
forget to remove the pin. So currently the standard size dolly is going for $152, that's the 76 inch version. And the extra long version, the 91 inch, is going for $167. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.